Good afternoon, Cadre. It's Chris Girnor at www.theshavingcadre.com. I'm here with my special assistant, Mr. Hello. Oliver, the youngest. He's going to help me today. Since the middle child didn't want to help, that's all right. Anyway, um, it is Monday, Veterans Day, and it is rather late. It's actually afternoon. And I'm going to just do a short video today because Monday is my normal shaving video. Today, what do we have over here, Oliver? What kind of brush is that? Go ahead and pick it up. What have we got? Yeah. We've got the Razor Rock Big Bruce. And that's my synthetic brush. We've got our razor today. Gillette long comb with an Astro SP in there. Well used Astro SP. What's our soap? What does it say? Fresh vetiver. Close. Don't hurt yourself. It's fresh vetiver from CBL soaps. What does that smell like? You have to be nice when you say what it smells like because Mr. Chris might be watching. Smells good. Smells good. What does it smell like anything? You don't know? Okay. And then we've got, of course, our normal shave pose, post shave routine, which is uh, generic witch hazel and some Thayer's medicated. And then there it is, my um, Guerlain vetiver uh, and a little atomizer there. And I'll be finishing up with that. That's the actual official um, cologne. So we'll go ahead and get started. Open up the fresh vetiver here. <clears throat> you can hold that for a second while I get my brush wet. The topic of fragrances has been coming up a lot on the TSC. Thank you, sir. And fresh vetiver is actually CBL. Chris Lindsay on the site, um, his version of Guerlain Vetiver, and I've only used the actual fragrance once. The scenting is really light on this, so it's kind of hard to tell. I got a little more water here. And you can put that back. Thank you, sir. And we'll start building our lather. I think I'm going to keep things simple. I'll just do a two pass today. Skip my with the grain. I'm going to do across the grain and against the grain. What do you think? Smell anything yet? Still smell good? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Some folks on another site that have recently tried CBL's new tonsorial line, which he's got some really fantastic scents out that look really interesting said they've had some trouble. Most people don't. But said they've had some trouble lathering them up. And basically, I'm not sure why they're having trouble, but it's pretty much the same for any hard soap. Give it a very thin layer of water on top. Let that soak. Soften the puck up. A moderately wet brush. about 15 to 20 seconds of loading maybe at the most and work it on your face or bowl you should be good my tonsorial line isn't as luxurious as normal artisan line it's a good quality value soap only a couple steps down from his artisan line. All right, there's that. 
There. There's some soap for you. <laughs> All right. Very carefully, if you want to hand me my razor, there you go. Just hold it by the handle. Thank you. To that new long comb. And this is called across the grain. Okay, dad's hairs go down. And so we're going across them. Might not be the best way to start out if you got a lot of growth or a heavy beard, but if you do daily shaving like me, it's not so bad. Especially since the long comb is an open comb. You hear sounds of battle outside. My family is playing Fortnite. I've been playing with Oliver too, huh? Mm -hmm. We play Fortnite this morning. Yes. What else have you been doing this morning, Oliver? We have been watching TV. Mm -hmm. What did you watch? We basically watched a movie. I forgot the name. You watched a movie this morning? Yes. You don't remember? What was it about? You don't remember? It must have not been a very good movie. Was it a good movie? Yes. If you don't remember what it was about, was it about Thanksgiving? Uh, or Christmas? Or it Halloween? It was about Christmas. It was about Christmas? Yes. Did it have Santa in it? No. What? No. No? You can wipe the soap off. You don't have to leave it on your face unless you like it. Yeah, right. that's my across the grain lather up. You can still see even with that short load, I got a ton of lather in there. Probably enough for another couple passes. I need my razor again, sir. Thank you. And now we go up the other way, across the grain, or excuse me, against the grain. Was this how you're gonna shave, Oliver? No. How are you gonna shave? Uh, when you get when you get older and you have face hairs. I don't know how I'm going to say it. You shave. You don't know yet? Dad, Dad helped Grandpa start shaving this way too. Did you know that? Checked my uh, mail notifications yesterday, and tomorrow, while everybody's at school and work, I get the day off again to make up for Monday today being my normal day off. And my turn for the TSC mystery boxes come up. So I should be getting that probably the afternoon tomorrow. It's actually been sitting at my local distribution for the post office since yesterday, Sunday. But of course, today being Veterans Day, the mail isn't delivering. So 
So, Nurse Dave, who I got the box from in the pass around, he was right before me. Lovingly mocked me. <laughs> Saying that I had to suffer, knowing that it was so close, so close. So you want to stand up and look in the camera? Yeah. Oliver's kind of short. In case you didn't notice. He's got to stand up on stools and stuff. So he's nine though. He still can't see you. <laughs> Hi. He's still wearing his soap. So you got soap on the side of your face. <laughs> Dad's rinsed all that off. I take all this stuff, I pull it out, and I spread it all over my face. Mmm, smells so good. You want some too? Yeah. Yeah? Gets a little messy. <laughs> One more? No. <laughs> what does it smell like? You figured out what it smells like yet? No? Does it smell like plants? Yeah. Kind of? Alright, washing the brush out here. to wash your face off? Yeah. You're gonna leave it on? Okay. I'm gonna do a cold water rinse now. If you've kept up with my shave videos at all, you'll notice I didn't do any cleanup. I did skip that first pass like I mentioned. Oh. So, I'm BBS in some areas, mostly DFS, since it's so late in the day, and I do like to shave every day. Going for not quite as close as normal, and I'll take the witch hazel, that one, no, yep, that one. Thank you, sir. Generic witch hazel. Just put a little bit in the palm here. Go, you can put that back. Some people say this tastes or smells like dirty socks, but not to me. After a while, you get used to it. It smells herby, kind of earthy. It really helps with the skin. And I'll take the one that says Thayer's. Mm hmm. Thank you. Thayer's medicated. They need to work on their packaging. Bottle's nice, but the label not so much. Put that back. Thank you. This is also a type of witch hazel. It helps soothe the skin. Got a bunch of other skin food in there. Aloe and whatnot. Bay oil. Alright. Now to finish it off. Thank you, sir. I got this from eBay from a seller called Pocket Sense, who's got a bunch of these on offer. That's an eight millimeter sample, eight milliliter, millimeter, but it's an atomizer, nice aluminum body. It twists and reveals the spray. There's the vial there. It just sits down in there real easy. That smell like <laughs> smells like what mm -hmm. smells like mint 
kind of. It smells a little bit like lemon. It's got almost like a lemon pledge. See that kind of pops up and down as I twist it. Help protect the vial, but very lemony opening. This is Guerlain Vetiver. Lemony opening. And then if you've ever smelled uh, fine, uh, clean vetiver, it's uh, they got the dry down, the middle of the dry down perfectly. And then at the end, this lasts a really long time. Like my first spray was about 12 hours, something like that. I could still smell it. Then it gets kind of a powdery green scent. Pretty nice, not bad. I'm still not convinced about that powdery finish. It can be kind of heavy toward the edges of the spray, but it is definitely classic. Very nice. Good experience. And that's that. Thank you for all the veterans who have served and are serving their country. And this is Chris and Oliver. Bye. Bye. Signing off. Happy Veterans Day. Have a great week, guys. Bye.